Leaf Boy. What's good, homie gang? We are on the last upload of the day, the third upload. You feel me? I told you three uploads a day now between September 10th, and we are on the last upload for today. I appreciate every single one of y'all who support me and watch all my videos. I love all y'all, bro. Y'all my gang, for real. Y'all like all the video, leave a comment. Leave a comment down below requesting what y'all want me to watch next. Leave a comment if you love your mama. You know what I'm saying? Sub up if you love your mama. And turn on post notifications when you sub. We're doing this all the way up till September 10th. We're doing three uploads a day. And then after September 10th, we'll just be one upload a day till I do another like upload-a-thon type shit. But we on that 10k grind so we trying to hit 10k before september 10th and that starts with y'all you know what i'm saying y'all can it starts with me actually grinding uploaded then it secondly it starts with y'all you know subbing up to your uncle hk showing love and support leaving comments liking the video so we can get on recommended more so more people youtube can push my videos out to more people you know what i'm saying i'm gonna do my part on uploading y'all gotta do y'all part for me the uncle hk supporting watching through uh watching the whole video through Leaving a comment, liking the video up, you know what I'm saying? Tell your friends to watch, you feel me? We're gonna get 100K on one of these channels by any means possible. Y'all like the video. Today, I seen this video and I was like, bro, let me check this out, bro. It's called Why Young Diz is Called the Devil. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that, a title like that, bro, it made me like, whoa, what the fuck? Why they calling this nigga the, the devil? You know what I'm saying? You know your uncle HK. Everything UK right now, we checking it out, bro. We checking it out, bro. Told y'all by the end of this, I'ma know the whole UK history with the drill scene and all that. And I'ma like, I'ma like, I'ma compare at the end. I'ma compare UK drill versus US drill and see which one is really like that. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? So y'all like the video? Comment, comment, comment. Subscribe, subscribe if you're new. Turn on the post notifications. You know what I'm saying? I don't like doing too. Your uncle don't like doing too much talking. Let's get into this, bro. <laughs> Mention the chapter of rap it, mixing a mash by Aki, mission a mash a service, go a mash you bracket, but that mash is chapping. No shanks on deck, you're lacking blue in the chap, you mash it. Everything was person in ends, no me, and they know what's up. I gotta read, damn, I gotta read this. Young Diz is from East London, he's from the borough of Newham, a place that is tapped in. Demons my head, and he thinks I'm corrupt. I got 50 racks in that duffel. I got the drop, so I'm lurking around with that star. Let me make sure none of this is copyright in this mug. Hold on, let me make sure none of this is. Okay, yeah, there's no copyright in this. He's called the Prince of the Six and is the boss of ACG and Young ACG, along with his partners, the twins. Dang, I gotta learn what ACG and all that is, that gang, because I, I, I know what. Now I know what 71st versus 51st, you know what I'm saying? Active gang now. And then I know Moscow 17 versus Zone 2, but I don't know too much about the ACG gang and who they rival gang is. So I'm going to have to check them out. Like, after this, that's going to be the video that's going up on tomorrow because I'm, I'm getting, I just got to remember the members of each gang type shit. But I, I know what, what the gangs are type now. Spend ding on money on crepes. Still got dingers up in my ends. If my pocket speak, there's a skeng. Man can't do. Young Diz been making music since forever. He actually has a tune with Dave from back in the day. His music was different. Than back man can't step where I step. No way. And it ain't no use. Our age and the ends that make us much. I really need me a pause. They're giving us too much time to read. We about to just go through this. And his older tunes, he explains his life story and why he's the way he is. The only reason being him losing money is still ain't good So he he lost his mom and he is probably to gang activity. He feels guilty about it, and he probably gonna want to get his get back with anybody who brings her up or just. Had a, any part into where just anything like this probably is the one that turned him into a demon that he is probably. That's my that's my my guessing. And UK drill started young Drizzt to hop out on it, and he started to show his crazy side on the drill scene. And Drizzt and the twins have a good street reputation. It's a trio you don't want to mess with, but they also make a lot of money. I know this young Driz. He the one who got that one nigga killed uh, because he owed him like $1,900 type shit. Wasn't it CJ? No, it wasn't even CJ. It was somebody he got killed and, and they kidnapped him because he owed him like $1,900 type shit. And then he was also like recruiting niggas in the streets. I, I remember seeing this nigga. I remember seeing this nigga. I do remember. Young Diz and the Twiz. Good street routine. 
Okay, I do remember seeing him. Long story short, that fool try get me indicted. You can't have forever. Come on, that's long. All right, young, this says everything he thinks of in the team. Put my feet on the gas, I'm gone. Stuff you drowned in my patch. Thought he came long like crash. Two rambles under my couch. Man, I poke up the you like ah. Man, I poke up. Man, I poke up the you like ah. Man, I poke up the you like woo. And he goes, he, and he does the Millie Rock for extra effect. I remember when money was slow. I used to get that rub on con. Con, I caught that. Um, I heard the name they call you sometimes. Bro, what do you call me? Something with devil or something like that. Oh, yeah, it could be the devil and that, yeah. He don't even the look like the, like, like, mean type shit like that. He look like he'd be like, like a chill ass nigga. He don't even look mean. And our first reason why they call Young Diz the devil is because he survived getting stabbed. What the fuck? 14 times this nigga got stabbed and shot two times. Just I'm at in here and shit got mad. Damn. And when you're riding, you don't bring a phone, so we can't really call down a cab. Man. Shit's all men. Men. Shit's intense. intense. Jesus. But in retaliation, two men got shot in their head. So young Diz just sipped his tea like crimp. Yo, this is crazy. Got my Rambo, I ain't trying to spar. Man can't question gang in the ends like they don't really know who you are. I didn't remember, I don't do the pause. They, they have it on the screen for a while. Conspiracy squad. He beat three firearm charges and four cases of attempted murder. Not many people on road can say that they've done that. Yeah, yeah, it seemed like that because everybody in the UK down there looked like they're getting caught up. There's a song where Young Diz had a verse on that made everyone that heard it just think, what the fuck is wrong with him? What song is that? So he was the one who did get CJ, right? He's the one who did get CJ, right? I'm confused. It took two of my tunes down because CJ's mom kept shedding tears. Somebody tell I don't. Oh my fucking gosh. That, that I tell y'all, whenever niggas bring up the CJ incident, it just hit me deep because, yo, how young that nigga was and just, just the backstory with that nigga, bro. It is crazy, bro. It is just super crazy, bro, what's going on with over there. All right. Back to what I was saying, bro. Yo, dude, like when br they bring up the CJ incident, I'll be like, ah! Because, like, they be bringing up his mom and then his mom don't. She's already grieved. She's grieved enough because, like, the mom didn't have nothing, no part of the gang life. So why do you got to bring her into it, bro? And then they just bring it, like, and that ruthless nigga shit that he say, like, I don't give a fuck your son ain't here. Like, nigga, in a song, like, you a mom hearing that, you like, oh, nigga, like, damn, why you got to just keep tormenting me like that type shit? This shit is... But that's the gang life, bro. Shit. Man, somebody tell her, I don't give a fuck that her son ain't here. Trust. Ever since her son got dropped, the whole block ain't done shit. Trust. And I was damn. laughing when I saw the pick of her mom just bury her kid. <laughs> you think I cared? Nah, this nigga for real is devious. Oh my God. I remember this nigga from that documentary. Yeah, yeah. He the one who he kidnapped somebody in for $1,900 like type shit. Like hold him ransom for that 1900 to get his get back, bro. That man had his whole life ahead. What about this? That guy's a civilian in ends. Young Diz also managed to recruit youngers for YAC Young ACG that are nearly as crazy as Young Diz. So this nigga is taking niggas off the street and making them turn turn them into like them his mini knees. Like that's almost as crazy as his he is at a young age and he's old. Like this is crazy. And if I told you your time is coming, just know that I meant what I said. I swear, I don't rely on no brothers. I don't rely on no cousins. I spent long nights in a trap with a woolly hat on like a Russian. Still got a what happened to you? I swear he's gone. Man, boy, just like a back to God. My gosh. Oh my fucking gosh. What happened to CJ? I swear he's gone. Man, bro. Yo. That's devious. That's devious. Shit. Yeah. Go ahead. Tracker, Papa got hit. Yo, they just won't let it go with the CJ, bro. They just won't get it, let it go. Oh my god. Parker's currently in jail for stabbing Pablo seven. Pablo, oh, he's part of seven. He's home in 2023. Don't try to tell me Damn, well, he almost home then. He got two more years. These niggas don't care. They just laugh about it. 
get the drop where you rap, then come there. Young Dog, this is also responsible for making everyone's favorite rapper, Juice, crash his car on the month. Monto motorway because he uh oh, damn who is Jews? I don't even know who this is. Like I have to see this. this is everybody's favorite rapper. Then I stop to blood drips. They don't wanna pay to they see gun tips. Ask about time my niggas. He robbed another fan favorite rapper, Mo Stack, for chilling with everyone's favorite rapper. So is these big rappers like these Mo Stack and that Jews? I heard the kidnap. I heard the kidnap he did. I did hear that. Part of the story that is 100% true is that Young Diz and others kidnapped and tortured a 16 year old boy. Yeah, that's the story I heard. For that 1900, that 1900. But the reason why they did that has two sides speaking against each other. The police say young this groom's youngers to recruit them. This nigga getting them young, bro. He's trying to start off a game. He's trying to start a young game. Yeah, I heard this story. I heard this story. This story is valid right here. He, got, he kidnapped a 16 year old and held him off. Let me have fuel to the fire. Riding a stolen whip, we left no treads on the tire. Done a lot of I mean, he's sm I ain't gonna lie, he's smart for that. He's like, hey, yo, you know, kids is dumb. You know what I'm saying? They young, dumb, they be looking for money. You know what I'm saying? They on the streets, money to get their parents, they struggling moms, single moms, or something like that. They be like, yeah, this for easy money, bro. Oh, it's a lot of money. I just, I do it, bro, and I'll work it off easy. And then they just realize they're getting themselves into a whole bunch. A whole lot of shit that they didn't even think they was going to get into. Because the gang life, once you get into it, it's not no easy thing to get out. Nearly impossible. And young Diz know these niggas ain't going to be able to pay the debt off like that. Easy. So, like, he's basically trapping them. Setting them up for, like, failure, basically. Which is smart on his part, because then he got more soldiers to his fucking army. Lost three backs to the feds. But it's calm, calm, made that back. You better stick to the crud that he spoke rule to, he can't take that back. Man ran off with a pack. What was he thinking? He must have been pressed. It didn't take long for a drop. Three hours later, the you got nap. Tied tied him up to a chair. Rusty mush but up in his mouth. Boiling water. And this nigga's doing this from jail. He just don't give a fuck. She wants to get freaky. Get freaky in text. Now it's far more likely that the guy stole a pack from Young Diz and they had to pay for what he did because you don't play with Young Diz. Young Diz don't even look like he like, just like, he look like he cool, like a cool ass nigga. Oh, hold on. The torture was also recorded on Snapchat. There's no footage out here, but we do have the audio of it. Yo. Oh no, that's some devilish shit. I'm not gonna lie. This nigga Zay, this is what happened. You don't pay him much. <laughs> and just just doing yo yo, this is crazy. He's just having his fun with it too. Can you demand to get on his knees? Someone got shot in. I just sit my tea like Kermit. If you ask me, Young Diz is probably telling the truth because he has plenty of youngers that love him and work with willingly. Yes, bro. These young niggas is like, bro. This nigga is like, he's putting food in our pocket, money, food in our, you know what I'm saying, mouths. Like, this nigga feeding us, he getting us out. Something the government ain't doing. A lot of niggas, yo, it's like, um, it's like, what's it called? The movies in them Africa ganglands. Yo, the, the dictators and gang lords, they taking kids at a young age and teaching them how to be like in that army life, that dictatorship life. And the kids is like, bro, this is like our God because he's the only one feeding us while we starving at home. Our parents are starving and shit. They, this guy is feeding us, putting food in our pockets. We just got to go to war with him. That's all we got to do. The government ain't giving us shit. So I see why they look at him like that. It's like the same shit they be doing like in, in a, a lot of the third world countries in Africa with the with with gang lords and shit. Yo, 
They be brainwashing the kids, young age. Taking the agenda, please have made it have against real music. It's most like they making this look even worse. They, it's probably facts. They probably making him look bad. If we're being real, young Diz wouldn't risk it for 1500 pounds. He makes that in a day easily, so I can't believe. That's what I'm saying. Like, whenever I watched that one interview, I mean, that one, I forgot what I watched. I think it was Hip Hop Daily, and they said young Diz kidnapped this kid for 1900 pounds that he owed him. I mean, I was like, bro, like, you're kidnapping it, recording it. You're obviously, like, kind of exposing yourself. Like, you, like, I'm the one kidnapping this nigga. The parents easily just go report it to police. You going to jail like over nineteen hundred dollars or like fifteen hundred pounds over there? They say it's nineteen hundred American dollars. Why would he go to jail if he make that easy like that? So yeah, that story kind of don't add up to me. But they saying it's cause out of respect. Like if you don't pay that nigga, he gonna come get you. But still, like the way he did it, kind of exposing himself. Like I wouldn't think that was. It don't make sense why he would do it that way. Like. You know what I'm saying? He didn't turn Muslim. I ain't even shoot at. But I robbed a lot of niggas that I know. That's why I always gotta look back. Friends That's why they part me the devil. Yeah, that shit, that, the shit he be doing is DV. The nigga was laughing when had didn't somebody taught up, nigga. Yo, this nigga. Oh, it's crazy. And then he bring up C yo, everybody know that's CJ. When that somebody bring up CJ, it's like, damn, bro, this shit's tough, bro. Man, y'all like the video. Let me know what y'all want me to, you know what I'm saying? Like I always say, let me know in the comments what y'all want y'all request for me to watch next. I appreciate every single one of my supporters. Y'all like up the video, subscribe, subscribe, turn on post notifications so Nodi Gang can become stronger. Y'all going crazy in the comments. There's been almost 100 comments each video. I appreciate y'all. Bro, love all y'all, bro, homie gang. We growing. We hit 7.5 today. Hopefully in the next day, two days, we can hit 7.6K. I'm going to drop more UK bangers for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like up the video, subscribe, leave comments down below. Appreciate y'all. I'm out. Family broken, so I stand with my niggas. Showed up to every shootout, but I ran for my feelings. No time for those, I got a plan to get millions. Whoever don't agree, I see you back at the buildings. That's why I never let y'all act like a victim. That's why I never let y'all kill my ambition. You weren't built for the mission.